What is today guys, Mad Matt in this video today I want to talk to you guys about the XMG Heavy Machine Guns in Advanced Warfare guys. These are godly, I've never seen weapons like this in Advanced Warfare before, or any Call of Duty for that matter. Um, these things do not miss, there is literally no recoil on these weapons and you guys must watch this video to see what these weapons and all the hype is all about. Now I have a little video coming up guys in firing range and have a look. So as you can see there guys, this is a hip fire from these weapons. Now the hip fire on these are, is terrible as you can see there. I am spraying 300 rounds into the target. As you can see, when I do bring the target closer towards me, um, after I finish shooting all these rounds, you can see um, the accuracy is 34%, hits 84, and I actually fired 250 bullets to be exact. And the distance was um, 15 meters. So out of, that is just a terrible 34% for hip fire range. Now this is a cold lockdown mode. Look at the difference, guys. This gun is unstoppable. Look at that, guys. That is full automatic. Now I do I do put 300 rounds into this um, target this time. As you can see, guys, the crosshairs do not move. They are dead center on the target, and they just stay out there. Look at this, guys. That is absolutely, that is pretty much in the first circle of that target. 205 hits, um, fired 205, I thought I fired 300, obviously I was wrong. But 100% um, accuracy again, and now we try this again. Now we aim for the head this time, and as you can see again, the recoil on this gun, there is literally no recoil. It is like a sniper, but pumping 300 um, bullets uh, per minute from 150 per um, gun for left and right. So as you can see there guys, Look at 355 bullets fired. Look at that, guys. That is pretty much unstoppable. So I don't think that guy would have survived. Now, this is the differences between some uh, lockdown mode and hip firing mode. a big difference. But that's, I just wanted to show you guys that before we hop into the gameplay. So now back to the gameplay. I want to talk to you guys a more in-depth look at the XMG. So we just saw that little video there um, talking about uh, how the lockdown mode works. So lockdown mode works, as you can see there. You actually press the left hand, um, uh, not trigger, the button on the left hand side, and it actually like plants you there. So you can't move, you can move at 360 degrees, but you can't actually walk or jump or anything. You can just move your guns. So as you can see there, guys, this part of the video is pretty cool. Um, I see one guy below me to my left hand side, I'm pretty sure, yeah, there you go. And look at that, guys, it just recall, no recall of that. I can just pick anyone off at any distance because these guns are unstoppable. I would really recommend these weapons if you are playing um, objective game, objective game mode such as domination, hard point, momentum. They are these guns just destroy. In this domination game, I absolutely destroyed. Um, I reckon I could have gone a higher kill streak if I didn't um, actually use my kill streak. So they kind of let me down a little bit. But I really, really recommend you guys using this. Um, this setup is just awesome. Look at that, guys. They just absolutely destroy. I reckon this is the most overpowered weapon in this game. I'm not complaining about this. Because not many people actually use them, but I think you guys should start. So, I re recommend if you're playing Domination, try and try this class out. If you guys want to see a best class setup on the XMGs, exactly what I'm using right now, let me know. They just absolutely destroy. Um, as you can see, there, I've already got my Paladin and my Goliath, and they're actually all decked out as well. Um, it's not just playing thing. I think it was like an 11 and 12 kill streak, but they just absolutely destroy. I actually. I don't have actually any proper words to describe this except for just awesome and just probably the best guns I've used in this game by far. He's probably mo more overpowered than the bow was. Now, one thing that will let you down, and I'll just show you, tell you after this gameplay. Look at this, look at this part, guys. Just a triple feed. It's just awesome. Look at that, guys. Picked up the third person as well. Now, the one thing I don't like about these weapons. Now, I've just gone on for the last like four minutes talking about how much I love these weapons, and you guys should love them too, but there's one thing that you guys should know. You have to, if you want to get that accuracy, you have to plant yourself down every time you fire your weapon. So, if you see me, if you see me um, playing like that, that's just hip fire accuracy right there. Now, the hip fire accuracy, as you saw at the start of the video, is not that good, but here you go, you see me plant, and I shoot, and then I unplant. Um, that is probably the best, that's probably the worst part about these weapons. If you have a lightweight attached as well, guys, it doesn't feel like they're a heavy weapon, it just feels like a normal weapon. Because as you know, it is a heavy weapon and it does weigh you down. Um, it's not like an assault rifle, you can just run around. These aren't meant for that. But when you have lightweight attached, these things are unstoppable. They're alike. It's like an assault rifle. Just, it's like a bow on both of your hands um, with it's 150 bullets in each gun. So it's just unstoppable, guys. And literally, there is no recoil at all. It is literally just a beam. It's like a laser beam straight away. 
Watch this gameplay, guys. Awesome, awesome, awesome kills here. Look at that. Just hit fire accuracy goes to work as well. When you're close range with hit fire accuracy, it absolutely destroys. So I do recommend if you um if you do play like domination, as you can see me doing there, running onto the flags are awesome here. You guys can sit in the corner, put on your um, lockdown mode, and it just absolutely destroys. And if you can see here, guys, there is literally no recall. I put I think I put like four or five bullets into the guy, and he dies straight away, and at that distance as well. So. I really, really recommend you guys using this weapon. As I said, if you want to see a, a best class setup on these weapons, the XMGs, let me know, guys, because if you do, I will make that and a really good in-depth video showing you guys um, that. Because look at that system hack. I've got like three different attachments to the system hack, and it just absolutely destroys. Um, get your kill shakes really quick. It's just, I can't explain it, guys. You just, got, just trust me, guys. Use this weapon. And this, this um, uh, weapon is the Elite version. It's not much, not that much of a difference. I think it's got like a two increase of damage or one, but that is called the bacon and eggs. If you guys have that, trust me, put it on. I am not lying to you. If you guys don't like it, then I, I might have been wrong, but I, I doubt you guys won't like it. You're gonna have so much fun with this class. It's not just a good class for killing, but it's a really good class for um, having heaps of fun as well. So if you have enjoyed this video, guys, make sure to smack the thumbs up button. I absolutely love the XMGs, guys. Um, I won't be using them all the time. I'll only be using them if to have some fun here and there. Um, obviously, in objective uh, based game modes. These aren't really meant for rushing as well. Just so one more thing to point out. Not meant for rushing. Um, they're kind of meant for like uh, a laid back, not really laid back, but like stayed in the base kind of type gameplay. You don't want to like more objective based. So if you want to protect your flag, you sit in like a area where a number of people can shoot you from and then you can shoot them. So a high advantage point like I did at the start of the video up the top of... Um, those crates over there but hope you guys have enjoyed this video if you have make sure to smack the thumbs up button and as i said if you guys want to see um a best class setup make sure to let me know in the description down below the comments down below should i say because i would love making that video for you i just don't want to make it if no one's going to um use it to their advantage but if you guys as i said if you want to watch to see it let me know in the comments down below here's another two videos on screen if you haven't seen them yet i do have um my latest advanced uh warfare patch notes and also do have my latest Prestige 5 video, guys. Stay tuned this week. I will have some Prestige, uh, some infected videos coming out. So stay tuned for those. I um, hope you guys have enjoyed this video. It has been Mad Matt. And I'll catch you guys in my next video.